the deep state. They have weather manipulation technology. They have DARPA. They know how to manipulate and create big storms, hurricanes, tornadoes, climate change, etc. And these huge hurricanes always seem to target red states, red districts, and always at a convenient time, typically right before elections. I mean, I know that Florida is uh, prone to hurricanes. However, this developed into a cat four oh, or cat five overnight. Right. And it does seem to be hitting uh, the, uh, the conservative areas of the right. state. Um, you know, you and I don't. I, I, I'm not putting it past the elites uh, to target something like this towards Florida as punishment uh, for uh, getting rid of vaccine mandates or getting rid of child grooming. They are angry with us and it wouldn't surprise me to find out. And yeah, the technology does exist. It was uh, Deanna Lorraine and Lauren Witzke. And look, to claim that the deep state is making hurricanes and then throwing them at Florida to punish DeSantis for stopping people from saying gay might seem irresponsible, it might seem crazy, but I don't know why you'd expect much from these two. They're only a GOP Republican congressional candidate in 2020 as well as Delaware's GOP candidate for Senate in 2020. My how the crazy have stayed on the same level. Um, but here's the thing, for them to say that on whatever the hell network that was is one thing. The rhetoric coming from the more mainstream right wing is not that much better. Media Matters has done an amazing job of doing a roundup of the way that the right wing has talked about Hurricane Ian. And as part of their coverage, Fox News and Fox Business have aired numerous segments downplaying climate changes linked to hurricanes by claiming they have decreased in frequency, specifically on the September 30th episode of Fox Business's WSJ at Large. Host James Freeman cited a passage from the recent intergovernmental panel on climate change report that discusses past hurricane activity stating quote, there is still no consensus on the relative magnitude of human and natural influences on past changes in Atlantic hurricane activity. Now, he read that to make it seem as if, well, we don't know what's going on. What he left off was what happens later in that same report. The text says that there's absolutely confirmation of the growing intensity of hurricanes in a warming world. It mentions a warming world will mean more intense storms. And look, you might not know that guy, maybe he's a rando. But Tucker Carlson on September 29th talked about hurricane frequency, downplayed the intensity argument, falsely claiming that, quote, there's no science behind these claims, which is a statement that's worth about as much as him calling January 6th a peaceful election fraud protest. But this is really an issue. They seem to understand that the worse these storms get, the more difficult it is to deny the connection between climate change and worsening extreme weather events. And they are very much playing defense, both rhetorically as well as for the fossil fuel companies. And so we could cite any number of other examples and you should definitely check out Media Matters coverage of this topic. But they are trying to make sure that people don't draw what should be indisputable lessons from these recent hurricanes. Yeah, so uh, first real quick on the wacko clip. Um, so I told you, uh, I predicted on the show uh, that uh, that Republicans would blame the deep state for the hurricane. And people thought, oh, I mean, tongue in cheek. No, no, I meant literally. And there it is, I told you, I told you they'd do it. <laughs> crazy gonna do crazy, okay? <laughs> so that's point one. Point two is, remember in the old days when the hurricanes would hit uh, more left wing areas? Um, the pre, the right wing preachers would come out and go, oh yeah, obviously because of the gay pride rallies, mm-hmm. and because of the gay pride parade, it got punished New Orleans, right? Pat Robertson said that, another preacher said it, right? Now that it's hitting red states, they're like, oh no, that's uh, uh, not God, uh, and God's not angry at us, no way. Deep state, that's what it is, deep state. Okay, <laughs> people believe it. Okay, now on to Fox News, which is much more dangerous. So uh, Media Matters showed you know clip after clip after clip after clip of so-called experts that they bring on. They go, ah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, hurricanes, no way, not at all intense, not less frequent, no big deal. Obviously, climate change uh, nonsense, right? Now they uh, break down a couple of things, but here uh, I'm going to come back to who those so-called experts are because one of them is a hoot. Okay, the other two are like rando weathermen. Uh, not, none of them uh, have any climate science background at all, except one guy, which I'm going to come back to. But in terms of the reality, it's actually true that it, there's, there are not more frequent hurricanes. 
But it is not at all true that they are not more intense. They are, they're far more intense, okay? In fact, they turn intense quicker because of how much the oceans have heated up. So when she said in the cuckoo clip, like all of a sudden it turned into a cat five, right? That's exactly what scientists say hurricanes do because of climate change. They write ahead of time in the papers, oh, by the way, the hurricanes will become much more intense, much quicker. And then these guys look at that and go, obviously, deep state. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but look, 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 the, the, the difference between the media, right? So if we were right wing, we would tell you, oh, yeah, there's a lot more hurricanes. Yeah, uh, what happened in my backyard the other day? Okay, we just, they just lie, right? They just, they see the report. They, some of their experts read the report that says less working, but more intense. And they go, nope, less intense. Because their job is not news, it's propaganda. Yeah. Okay, so you say, well, Jake, how do you know? And who are they doing propaganda for? Well, one of their so-called experts is Roy Spencer. He's the one with a little bit of climate science background, actually. He's not random, like, hey, here's storm fields. Well, I'll tell you what, it's gonna be sunny tomorrow. And I say, we keep going with oil, okay? <laughs> but this guy, Roy Spencer, actually works at the Heartland Institute that is funded by oil companies. It's a think tank funded by fossil fuel companies. So they literally bring on an oil company lobbyist to tell you that climate change isn't real. If Adam McKay put it in a movie, like don't look up, people <laughs> say, "Oh, it's over the top, it's over the top. They're literally doing it. Oil company lobbyists posing as experts in climate science yeah. to tell you that no, we should just keep drilling and making a lot and letting the oil companies make tons of money as the planet burns down. But it's okay, I know climate science. And Fox News actively participates in doing that propaganda. They pretend to be populist while the entire point of the network is corporate propaganda. Uh, yeah, as, as someone who's Gen Z, I've lived my entire life being uh, with, with the reality of climate change. What from as early as I can remember until now, uh, throughout all of school, learned about climate change, told about how it's going to impact the earth. And you know, being raised that way, again, my entire life, I have always had this really deep grave concern about climate change that it's always so infuriating to me to see these conservatives and these, you know, these two women on that show with all the mental faculties between them of six day old hot dog water downplaying <laughs> the reality of climate change, blaming just a completely absurd notion that it's man made. And that it's because if I don't know if they realize this, but these weather, you know, events are not just happening in the United States. So, but mm -hmm. of course, it's the Democratic Party, but it's just so. Frustrating, so infuriating because, you know, as someone who wants to get married, to have kids, to start a family, knowing that nothing is being done about climate change while people are being funded by oil companies or their own delusions, apparently, to deny climate change, just preventing, you know, just preventing people from having futures and lives and, and knowing the impact that it will have. Moving forward, if you know, we do choose people in my generation to start families on our children. Uh, it just, yeah. it just really gets to me. It just really, really infuriates me. Hundred percent. Yeah, I just want to say one quick thing. Um, so to Ravana's point, anytime you hear a, a lunatic conspiracy from the right wing, in other words, when they're talking, uh, just think about it for one second and go down one chain of logic, right? So the deep state is creating more intense storms and hurricanes and flooding, etc., for uh, to democratic advantage in America. Why did they bother flooding poor Pakistan? Yep, a third of Pakistan was underwater, and you know how much attention that got in America? Uh, none. <laughs> I think we're the only ones who covered it. Okay, so like if that was their devious plot, well now let's drown the Pakistanis. Just in case someone in Indiana cares, <laughs> well, it's like the world's worst deep state plot, right? But think about how nuts that is, that they think the Democrats are creating storms that devastate other countries. For what, 1% of 1% political advantage back home? I mean, it's just literally nuts. That's 30% of the country, 
literally nuts. Yes, and they, they have one crazier belief that I'm gonna identify in a second. But first of all, if you are curious about the science of why storms have become more intense in general and why they're rapidly growing in intensity before making landfall, NPR has a good write up of the science, which you can find in the past couple of days. Also, one point that we've passed over when she claimed that it's suspicious that the hurricanes happen like right before the midterms, you know, like right before the first week of November. Like smack dab and hurricane season, that is suspicious that that's when they happen. But third of all, could you put up that B roll of that video like you had with Jane? Because I noticed something that I did not notice the first couple of times I watched that. I just need to be able to see the uh, the bottom thing. Biden builds transhuman cyborg army using immigrants. Why are we covering that? <laughs> I didn't even Dark know Brandon. That. Cyborg laser eyes. <laughs> I didn't even know those are that's their candidates. That's the I that's their that's legitimate the, candidates. And the press has to call everything 50-50. I mean look to be fair, that cyborg army would be pretty badass. It would. I would like to see that. <laughs> anyway. All right, we gotta go. All right, everybody check out reactions. Uh, twitch.tv slash TYT. Check out Rebel Headquarters clips by Ray Vana. She's killing it over there. Uh, and uh, John does damage report. Okay, guys, uh, okay, more absolutely insane right wing conspiracy theories, including how Halloween is going to poison your kids in 18 different ways and steal their soul for the devil when we return.